First tonight, families across Michigan have packed up and flocked to the lake shore. Of course, that's because for many, Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start to summer. To check in on the holiday weekend, News 8's Taylor Morris caught up with beachgoers and the Coast Guard about the danger Lake Michigan can pose to swimmers. Lots of people were out enjoying today's weather. Not too many people in Lake Michigan just yet since the temperatures are still pretty low. Memorial Day weekend is underway. After a winter full of heavy snow, people in West Michigan are ready for the new season. It's almost like a sense of relief, honestly, finally seeing the sun, you know, after a, uh, like I said, just kind of a weird winter now that we're out here enjoying this weather and getting as much as we can. Summer is my favorite time of the year, so I'm absolutely enjoying this. I don't think I've seen anybody not smile today, so it's awesome. Good vibes. Yes, good vibes only. <laughs> But with the warm weather and more people out, the U.S. Coast Guard and first responders are reminding people to be cautious when in the water. Lake Michigan still has cold temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to the lower 50s. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, if you jump right into cold water, you could go into what's called cold water shock. They're going to start shivering. Um... If that's the case and you feel like you're getting too cold or you notice somebody uh, shivering, maybe their fingers are starting to turn colors or loose coloring, starting to turn pale, uh, just get out of the water, wrap up in a towel, uh, make sure you keep them warm. And even though the beach was packed, the water was not. It's cold. I got in and out real quick. Um, I put my feet in and then said absolutely not and came right back out. According to the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, last year the Great Lakes had over 100 drownings. Just look at the flags on the beach. If it's a red flag day, don't get in the water. Uh, there's not a whole lot of currents on Lake Michigan, but there are rip currents. Uh, even the most experienced swimmers can get drug out and uh, pulled underwater. So. The Coast Guard is also encouraging swimmers to tell people where you are going and always swim with the buddy.